Hi, everyone. I wanted to talk a little bit about biosecurity when you're traveling with your horse. So when we go to horse shows, some of the things that we want to consider is that our horses are being exposed to horses that could be from all over the country. And so we don't want them to drink out of the same glass as these other horses. So if you kind of think of all the COVID protocols, um, we have the same biosecurity type protocols for the horses. So it's important that you not share your wheelbarrow or your manure fork with horses that live outside the barn that your horse lives in at home. So if you have two separate barns at home, each barn should have their own wheelbarrow and their own pitchfork and should not be shared between the two. Um, another thing to think of is when you fill your water bucket, you don't want to take the end of the hose and put it into your water. I even actually let a little bit of water run out of the hose before I start filling my bucket. Um, because if that was in someone else's water bucket when they were filling it, because maybe they don't know the biosecurity guidelines, then you take that hose and you fill your horse's bucket. You're just passing the other horse's germs onto your horse. And there's just so many places that we don't have control over the biosecurity at the show. So we want to try and take control of it wherever we possibly can. Another thing to think about is when you take your horse into a stall, the likelihood that that stall has had any sort of disinfectant in it is extremely low. So before I ever spread any of my bedding, I spray the walls down with a disinfectant that is safe to use around animals. Um, some of those disinfectants you can leave on the walls, others you do need to wipe. Um, most of them you do not need to rip. And so I'm going to do the do the walls, I'm going to do the door, and because my horse is really good about having a stall guard up, I'm going to do the stall front for him as well. And once I've done all that, I'll hang my bucket, I'll spread my shavings, and then I'll bring my horse in. When you have wood stalls, wood walls, um, it's nearly impossible to disinfect them. So probably not going to get much done with the uh, uh, spraying any type of disinfectant on the wall, but it's not going to hurt. So, you know, if you have one of those little sprayers that you just kind of pump the top and then squeeze and it just does a constant spray, those are great for getting your disinfectants down because uh, you're covering a pretty large area. Um, but those are kind of the main things I think of in the stable area, no sharing buckets, hoses not going into the water bucket, disinfecting the stall walls, no sharing of manure fork, which means you also don't borrow a fork from someone else, no sharing of wheelbarrows. And then when you're walking the horse around the property, a lot of horses like to sniff at other horses' manure, and you don't know where that manure came from. So you want to try and prevent your horse from doing that. People will see me lead my very calm, very well-mannered horse with a chain when I'm at a show. And I do that because he will dive down and smell and touch any manure that he finds on the property. And I don't want him to do that when he's not at home. At home, he touches these horses all the time. I'm not as strict about it. At a show, he's not allowed to touch another horse's manure. And I do need a little stronger aid than just his soft padded leather halter. Um, we also don't want horses touching noses if we can prevent it. Most of the stalls at horse shows, quite frankly, they can touch the neighbor, but at least that's a small group of horses that they're touching. So maybe we don't let them touch all their best new friends that they just met at the horse show today, but they can certainly go out and hang out, walk around with them and just maybe not touch with them. I also try not to touch horses that are not in my direct stable group um, unless my hands have been sanitized before and after I touch that horse. So if I'm going to go to the paddock area and coach someone, I use a little hand sanitizer because 90% of the time when I go to the paddock area, people know that I'm willing to help whoever needs help. So if someone needs a girth tighten, I'm going to go tighten a girth for them. If they drop their whip, I'm going to go pick it up for them. But I know my hands were clean before I touched their items. And then I usually just have a little um, handy wipe in my pocket. And I just wipe my hands before I then go and touch my client's horse that I was there coaching. 
And I do think that's important because the spread of disease can happen extremely fast at a situation like a horse show. So just be really aware of like everything you do. If you're touching manure or urine or sweat or snot off of another horse, you probably don't want to bring that back to your horse. And there's so much more we can do, but it would drive us all crazy. We can't do foot baths every time we walk in and out of our stall and all that kind of stuff. But there are things we can do to try and help with the spread of disease. One of the really important items too, I want everyone to consider your horse's temperature. Know your horse's temperature. Take your horse's temperature regularly. Take it a few days before you go to the show. Take it frequently while you're at the show. Any change in temperature, report it to the show management, report it to the veterinarian, and just really make sure that um, you're monitoring that temperature. So in the event that your horse does get sick, Hopefully the whole horse show doesn't get sick. So every, if you like my videos, like it, share it, hit the subscribe button. I put out a video every Monday and I try and talk about whatever topics that you want related to horses, uh, stable management, riding tips, um, whatever you, you name it. Um, I'll talk about it. So happy riding everybody.